Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. So in this section, we'll be seeing how we can rerun our failed test case. Okay, this is the continuation of the last video where we had seen how we can rerun our failed test case using or utilizing testng failed XML generated by testng. So this video talks about or here it had been shown how we can implement okay our failed test case to retry or rerun automatically without any manual intervention or basically which is be happening programmatically how many times you want to rerun you can rerun uh, depending on your coding so how much how many time you want to rerun it okay you can mention that and the test will automatically get picked up once it encounters a failure okay let's quickly start it so this is our previous project where we are demoing the failure okay we'll continue with this project only okay let's quickly create a test class okay where we'll be writing a test ng test okay and we'll be deliberately failing it okay to show you the demo of the same feature so let's see dummy test classes okay i had named the same like this let's quickly you create a test ng method just one let's say name it so i'm just printing something like and a simple thing called this is a test method okay so now i'll be using an assertion to fail it deliberately okay let's import the test ng itself okay let's quickly format it so our test method is done once we run it it should get failed okay let's quickly see so it is getting failed right so now what we want to do we want to write a code okay which will trigger this test one method automatically once it encounters a failure so we'll use an interface called i retry analyzer okay to achieve the same so let's quickly create a class Dyn let's name it dynamic retry analyzer okay so here what we have to do as i mentioned earlier as well we have to use i retry analyzer interface from testng okay once we implement that this will give you an error so basically it, it will ask you to add the unimplemented method which comes as a part of testng so errors are gone let's remove this part okay first let us quickly create two variable why i will tell you okay so here i had initialized the count as a variable it will keep the track of the test case how many times the test case has been executed and this is the maximum limit i am specifying you can customize it as per your own need how many times you want to rerun you can mention that or even you can fetch the data dynamically as well from the config okay as per your own need okay so and now we are going to implement this retry method so that it can be consumed while running in the test method okay so how can we do that okay let's quickly see that so i'm putting a logic if your count is less than max retry count then you want to increase the counter to one that is counter plus plus basically count plus plus and return true okay else it will return false okay let's see what the method is doing logically okay so basically if the count let's say currently i'm running first time so it is count is the number is one once it gets failed this method will be triggered okay automatically by test ng okay and it will check whether the count that is one is less than two 
max retry count or not if it is less than to max retry count it will increase the counter to one and it will return the value equal to true that means it will ask the test ng to rerun the test method so depending on your number it will be rerunning again and again if this is not the case if count is if you're increasing one by one right at some point of time it will be more than the max retry count that time it will come out of the if condition okay if condition will not be satisfied here so it will ask SNG not to rerun okay so now our this is very simple this method is has been implemented now we have to use this class okay where we are consuming the class basically so here we had created a dummy test class right so we need to inform this that for retrying purpose i am utilizing this class okay i need to use an attribute called retry analyzer okay and i have to name the class okay now this time previously we had seen it has executed once let's see how many time it gets executed or whether it gets executed or not before to that let's quickly create or generate and test ng xml file okay already we have a test ng xml file let us no uh, do one thing that let us ask test ng xml file to run this file only to run this class only so i have copied the name of the class and i am running it okay so see it has run two times correct so but if you increase the number okay two to three or three to four eventually the number of retry will be more depending on a number so basically we could achieve the retry of your test failure immediately after the failure of the method programmatically right you don't need to go for any manual intervention okay you don't have to click on something or do anything it will just rerun immediately after the test gets failed so what you have to do in a single recap you have to implement this method if the count equal to less than equal to this increment the counter and return true so that this will be this test class will be understanding okay again it has to rerun so this has rerun right so but remember guys if your test is getting failed multiple times okay as i mentioned the same in the last video as well you need to go back and check your code okay why it is failing because let's say you are working with api automation or ui automation using selenium and all so there might be many cases many scenarios where you can encounter failures okay either there might be coding issue or there might be network issue okay or there might be you no know, some elements got changed for selenium i'm talking about or you no know, uh, there is the ui got changed so there are multiple cases that might result into a failure so if you are retrying a couple of times if that that time also it is not getting executed uh, passed you need to go back and check your code and fix the bug if any okay so that's all from this section guys if you do have any questions suggestions, comments please put them in the comment box and if you do like my video please subscribe and like my channel so that's all from this section thank you and have a nice day